and white Angelus orchestral piano player. Um, it, it's an instrument that you could take to your home and play a piano that you already own um, and you also got the sounds of a reed organ with it. Um, starting at the, uh, the right hand side here I'll explain what everything does on it um, and uh, first of all we have a knob for piano. So that knob actually engages a set of levers which you'll see a little later that actually come down and push on the piano keys. The next knob we have here is marked Violina. Uh, that's a very bright sounding set of reeds, um, somewhat imitative of a string not um, you would have on a pipe organ. Um, you can actually draw it the whole way or you can draw it part way and you can control how loud that stop is. So you have two different volume combinations with that stop. Uh, next is what's marked diapason. It's a little fuller sounding, less, less bright. Um, in that one you also have the control um, of the half draw or opening the mute part way. Um, next we have the spool box of the instrument which has a 58 note tracker bar. Uh, you have your take up spool. Um, and you can actually see, see the sprocket that operates the uh, take up spool right next to it. Um, and you also have a cover here for your uh, tracker bar uh, to keep dirt from falling into it. Um, moving on to the left hand side of the instrument, you have a metronome stop. So on a player piano you would have a tempo lever. Well this is this, the same thing. Um, so you, you control how fast it's playing by how far out you pull this metronome lever, uh, knob and that controls the vacuum that's sent to the air motor that's operating the roll. Um, next you have a re-roll. So when you're done with your roll you would pull this out, you could pull the metronome knob out further and re-roll um, and uh, take your roll up and play the next one. Uh, the next knob is called a grand swell. Uh, it's much like a, a knee lever on a, on a reed organ um, that you would push but it's simply operated by a stop knob here. Okay, moving down, we have two two levers here. These levers operate the uh, the two pedals of your piano. So you'd have a, a soft pedal operated by this one, and a louder sustained pedal operated by this. And we'll get to see the uh, the lever in the back that actually pushes down on the on the pedals of the piano in a minute. Um, and then further down, we have the treadles that operate the, the bellows of the, uh, of the instrument. Um, we also have two bolts down here that adjust the height of this to suit your piano. Um, you know, every piano is a little bit different in height, and you can adjust each side of this independently and get it to really match up nicely with your particular piano. I believe that's it for the front of the instrument. Um, and there's, this panel does come off and you can service it. So let's move to the back of the instrument. Um, this instrument you can actually close all up. If you're not using it with your piano, you would, you would close it up and push it up against the wall in the parlor or wherever your piano was. And then if you wanted to use it with your piano, um, you would open it up here. And now we can see some more components that are inside here. Um, so starting at the top we have the, the suction reed organ uh, wind chest here. Um, it's turned upside down basically um, from a normal reed organ um, and you can see there's two mutes here. Let me see if I can pull the stop out so we can see those. Um, so we have two mutes that operate the two uh, sets of suction reeds, sets of suction reeds, and then we have the levers for the piano which come down and engage with the keys. Um, we also here have the uh, 
the bellows of the instrument, we have the equalizer or reservoir, and the exhausters here um, that are operated by the treadles that we saw in the front. Um, we have the original um, date written on there, original tag of January 31st, 1899, and a signature or initials, perhaps the person that tuned it or finished it. And moving further down, right there is one of the levers that operates the pedal of the piano. That's the, the loud or sustained pedal um, lever that would come down and push on your, on your uh, pedal of your piano. just um, played through the uh, piano player here um, and I just wanted to show some of the markings and how that relates to what we need to do to perform this role. Um, we have uh, tempo markings so you have moderato so you know how fast to play the role um, and then at certain points you would accelerate um, or you have a fermata to slow down here um, and that's you know you have to control that with the metronome knob on the on the piano player and also somewhat how hard you pump will also determine the speed. Um, we also have markings for um, forte and piano and also a small dotted line that shows you um, the the expression of the role that you need to to provide by the different stops. Um, so it's really up to the artist performing this role what choices um, you make here. Um, it does not say on any of the roles what stops the pull, whether or not to have the piano playing. Uh, that's totally up to the performer of the role. Um, so at the beginning of the piece we had the, the piano just playing and then we switched to the, to the reed organ. Um, and we, at this point where the, where the, the role says to get softer, we, we change stops so there was a little bit of interest there. Um, so that's that's what we have on the uh, on the roll that you have to to look at and play the role.